series that's close to his heart and, of course, his stomach, giving us audience a crash course in Italian cuisine. He's making everything from pasta sauces to cannolis. Put your hands together, everybody. It's Steve Sharifa's. He's hungry. Thank you. How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you, too. Uh, how's everything going with you? Everything's great. We're doing this new show for Life School on the Man Network. Uh, we shot nine episodes. Uh, I exec produced it with Joe Madeira, said right at tonight's show. And what it is is I go out and I, my favorite restaurants in the city, I go out and I talk to I don't cook. They teach me how to cook. All right, let's take a look at this clip. All right, so now we got and here's the, the chocolate cream. chips. That looks beautiful. Let me taste. Can I taste? Taste it. All right. That's good. All right. Not too sweet. Not I like too it sweet. that way. Not too sweet. Now, now we're going to fill them. Now, how many uh, calories do you think we're going to got over? A billion. A billion, okay. <laughs> A lot. A lot. A cannoli. And these are the cannolis right They're here. from Venero's, which is uh, one of the oldest. It's over 100 years it's been in the family. It's in the East Village. And we we had a tree down at Il Cotillo. We had a huge kickoff party. And it was I saw a 10-foot tree. tree made out of 3,000 cannolis. And it was 800 pounds. So i got to ask, are you a pro now at making them? No, no, not really. I'm not a pro. I, 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 I love to eat, obviously. Yeah. But do, I, do you I cook just, at home? You know, no, I don't. I eat at home. My right. wife cooks. But what, I, what the show's about is I go out and how passionate people mm -hmm. are about Italian food. No matter what nationality, what religion, no. we talk to hundreds of people. Yeah. They love this food. I got to tell you, I'm it's, I'm Italian in the soul. I'm Indian, but I'm Italian in that's the soul. That's what I'm and, trying you know, to say. I mean, you just you know, Italian food is one of those things that is a passion. And that's what it is. You no know, one ever says, uh, "Well, boy, over that curry <laughs> one night, I remember it brings back hey, memories it with does my bring grandmother." Back some memories for a couple of my friends. Boy, but, hey. that charmaine was fantastic. <laughs> Come on, it but you does. but you remember the meatballs at Rayos? Yeah, yeah, you do. The lasagna. I, I was at Rayos. I remember the meatballs. Right. So let's talk about some of your favorite restaurants in New York City. What are they? Uh, my favorite restaurant. Peasant on Elizabeth Street. Okay. Rayos, Il Cortile. Il Cortile, been there. Uh, been to Gusto. Rayos. Haven't been to Gusto. Brooklyn, Gino's, Spumoni Garden, the best LMB pizza. Spumoni Gardens, best for pizza sure. in the entire city. Okay, best uh, bakery that you love, love, love. I, I, I love Veneros. Okay. It's great. Okay. Great food, great desserts. Okay. I'm going to say. I mean, we could go on and on. I'm going to say Fortunatas. Have you ever been to Fortunatas in Williamsburg? No, it's I haven't. But favorites. I like Machelaria. Machelaria? Great. All great right. Italian steakhouse. Okay. Sergio Machelaria, great in the meatpacking All right. I'm going to say, have you been to Aroma? No, I have not. Okay. It's right. on Portland Bowery. All right. These and then in places. Bay Ridge, too. I got to give you a Which one? Ariel. Ariel's. Yeah. Ariel. Reno. There. All right. Ariel. What are you doing for the holiday? Uh, you know, hang around. My wife will cook. Well, you know, Any, anything that, anything's on the table that it has to be well, on the table? Well, you know, the night before, uh, it's all fish. Eat, it's fish. There's seven fishes. We'll have shrimp. We'll have mussels. We'll have clams. We'll have galamar. Yeah. And we'll eat. We'll drink a lot of white wine. Love it. Red love wine. It. And then we'll have a good time. All right. You know, you're, of course, this is an ode to your show that's uh, coming out. And we've got a couple of sauces. We'd like you to test our sauces. All we right. all We all cook for you. So, so um, everybody, so this is. The, this is the CW114 sauces. All right. And we want you to pick the winner and give them the golden spoon. All right, so I, I, I could. So just... what do you look for when you're looking for in a sauce? This is sauce number one. Obviously, say? it's a meat sauce. Very nice. Very nice. So good. Very very nice. All right, I like this it. this is a ragu, of course, tomato. Okay. Put a little of this in. Oh, nice. Marinara sauce. It's a nice marinara. Very nice. Okay. I this like is that. the next one. That's... Look, I'm all nervous. And then what? And then uh, we got to, we got a little ragu. <laughs> no, but tell tell the viewers at home if my you grandmother's have... gonna have all my well, grand grandmother's gonna be sick. Listen, tell the viewers at home if you're gonna have uh, your favorite jarred ragu. Uh, Rayos. Rayos. Rayos is the real sauce in the real jar. All right, that's the real. So thing. pick the favorite. One, two, or three. three. Let's go home old school now. I'm gonna go with this one. Number two. Nice. It's Jill Nicolini, everybody. Come on there you out. Go. <laughs> She is so thrilled. And number three was uh, Stage Boy Dennis. Well, that was good. I like that. And you like this meat sauce, yes, by the way. Yes, I did. And this that? was uh, Dr. Steve. Dr. Steve. Dr. Steve. He, Very he made, nice. He did say, ooh, it's good. It was good. Very good. I, right. I like this. It's so tell everybody good. what so the So she won is. the golden spoon. You do. You won the golden spoon. Very nice. Now Thank you. Thank it's you. on Life School on Demand. It okay. started yesterday. Okay. Uh, you can see it. You also see it. Life, <laughs> Life School Online. <laughs> Don't joke. <laughs> Life School Online, and it's a, we did nine episodes, and it's a lot of fun. Right. Each episode is a different food. You know what? You want to catch the show, we'll give you the information. Just look up to our website, which is cw11.com slash the morning news. And coming up on Monday, what people are saying, he's the next Marvin Gaye or Stevie Wonder. Our spotlight on the series continues as R&B star Raheem Devon is there. Raheem. Ah, he's killing.